TFC Fan TV. I hope you're all having a lovely week and happy weekend. Uh, it's been a, a crazy week for me. I've been recovering. I was a little bit unwell when I got back from uh, my little trip to Miami. <laughs> I think way too much tequila and um, too much, too, not enough sleeping. So uh, and I think when you decide to take a last minute trip to Vegas on the top of that, uh, yeah, that's, you, you're, you're asking to be ill for a little while. Anyway, um, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Um, I'm all over the place, but you know, these videos, I think now towards the end of the season, you know, I'm quite used to the end of the season, you know, being quite entertaining. I know we're still in the cup and everything like that, but I'm used to them being a little bit more entertaining, but I think for everyone in football, like for, you know, for all, for all the teams in football, you know, we now know more or less who the top four are going to be. Uh, we are going to be one of them, unfortunately, which is a shame. Uh, and I'd be interested to know your comments below. So um, let me know, you know, what what could we, what, what do you think we could have done in the in the last summer transfer window to ensure that we did get top four? Because to me, it's clear as day. You know, we didn't sign the right players. We have a sort of unhappy manager, I suppose now, um, and have done for a while. <clears throat> and we just haven't really gelled as, as much as we used to. Uh, so yeah, comment below and let me know, you know, what the main problems have been for you this season. Uh, but this video, uh, I want to take the opportunity to ask you guys, because there's lots of reports surrounding it now, you know, it, it seemed we were going to, you know, have four, the four of Barcelona boss, and now it's sort of changed to having, um, Allegri. Uh, there's a lot of talk around him. Uh, I won't lie, I'm, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan, I don't know enough about him to really give a full opinion. But for me, I don't see how... He would be a long term. I know that I know long term managers don't really last in football anymore, um, especially in the Premier League. I mean, it's 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 inevitable that a manager, at least one manager, is going to get sacked every season, if not more. And I don't know whether he would. I don't know whether he's suited to the Premier League. I mean, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, he he wouldn't be my number one choice, but the, at the same time, I don't really. There's not really any other options out there at the moment that I would choose because. We've we've sort we've gone through so many amazing managers. Um, like it or not, Mourinho is a clear winner. Um, Ancelotti, you know these these are managers that win us Premier League titles, and still, you know something goes wrong along the lines, and and we end up getting rid of them. So it's 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 as much as video is about leg green. It's also you know how can we try as best as possible to maintain a manager for at least more than a couple of years? You know, uh, I think. If you get rid of a manager after say five or six years, I think that's, I think that they've had a, a great, a great career at a club. I think they've obviously impacted well enough and it's just obviously time for a change. But I think to be going through managers within, some within only one season, others within two, it just gets a bit, I, I feel like there's no stability there in, in, in itself, you know, and we, we already don't have those core players we used to, like I talk about. And to not have a, st a stable manager for at least a you know a certain amount of time you know in you know, well to have have a manager for for a certain time frame, I think is just a little bit disappointing and it's asking for trouble. Uh, and I think for us to go on, I think the Premier League's getting more difficult every year. I always say this. I think clubs like Manchester City, like Manchester United, now know what they need to do to sort of get back to that 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 high level. I mean, Man City have already been there, but you know they had a they had a shady season. I think last season. Um, and yeah, you know, I just would like to see us sort of just try and have, I suppose it's, I suppose it's a, it's a, um, what do you call it? It's, there's got to be some sort of relationship between the board and the manager that changes because every single manager that comes in, we don't really seem to have, they don't really seem to have a good relationship or, I mean, I, I know if, if, if it was ever me that was going to be manager of Chelsea, such would, I know none of you ever want that to happen. <laughs> um, you know, I would know coming into this club that I'm not going to get the players that I want to sign, more or less. And why managers come in and they're shocked by that or they get frustrated with that is a little bit beyond me. I mean, I don't know whether they're told something else and then they don't get the players they want or they're just not, you know, it's not really fully registering, but we are not a club that allows the manager to make a lot of decisions. We are a club that, where the board make the majority of the transfers. Um, do I agree with it? No, not always. I think the manager should have full say no. I think it should be a very good relationship between the two, like I said. Uh, but like I say, I feel, feel like we need some stability and Allegri for me, I don't think would be long term. I, don't, I think he'd be incredibly short term actually. I know when Antonio Conte came, everyone was so excited and I think any, people are only just starting to doubt his methods now. I think it's not because of the manager he is. I think it's because they think he's not happy so he's not making these right decisions, you know, because I imagine when you're at a club, you sort of, 
he he quite clearly you know just isn't into it as much as he as much as he was and i think he really tried hard with the fans at the start i think you know jumping into the crowd and stuff we haven't had that from manager in a while so that's lovely and it brings something you know back to the game for the fans but he doesn't want to, to sort of be here anymore does he so i think appointing allegri isn't the best option uh, I think the club are now waiting till the summer to sign a manager. I don't think they're going to sack Antonio Conte before then, because they know he's. I think they know. 